In this video, I'm going to explain to you what Creed's Aventus smells like, because if there's one thing that this community needs, it's more videos about Aventus. In most of my videos, I try and err on the side of caution, realizing and understanding that most of you are either beginners or maybe casual viewers who don't completely understand the intricacies of what maybe aroma chemicals are or, or fragrance notes to a, to a huge degree. Best for a fragrance viewer to try and play it safe when they explain fragrances on camera. Fragrances are not just notes, they are complicated compositions of which years of work have gone into them, so sometimes it might be a good idea to try and go into that, how complicated fragrances can be and how interesting it is to explain them in more advanced ways. So saying notes such as pineapple, blackcurrant, mint, lavender, whatever it is, can sometimes be the tip of the iceberg of what goes into explaining and describing a fragrance in all its glory. So so, disclaimer, I don't actually have my bottle of Aventus here. Um, I haven't smelled Aventus for a couple of months now, but uh, it, my, my bottle is actually at my parents' house. But I did work for Creed for a number of years, so I've probably smelt Aventus probably more times than you've had hot dinners. Every day I was smelling Aventus, and every day I got told pretty much exactly what went into it and what was in it. We've got five different levels of difficulty. Noob, nothing wrong with being a noob. I was a noob, we were all noobs. In fact, you're probably safer in this world being a noob of fragrance than being a pro. Um, then we're gonna go to novice, so somebody who sort of understands fragrance, but you know, still doesn't understand the real complicated aspects of it. And then we're gonna go to average, and this is sort of where I can go with some of my fragrance reviews where we're, we're upping the ante a little bit. There might be some things that you m might not be able to get, but you'll probably be okay. Then we're gonna go to advanced. This is where things get really, really complicated. This is when we talk about the history, or what inspired it, things like that. This is where it's kind of becoming a little bit unnecessary for the amount of information that you need to know. All the way to pro, which is absolutely bonkers and insane. So let's start with Noob. Creed's Aventus is a popular men's fragrance that smells both fruity and musky. Notice that I say musky and not smoky because when I was um, working with Creed and, and talking to customers and things like that, people might not necessarily understand what smoky is. In fact, they might have bad connotations of that. When they say smoky, they might be thinking like a smoky fire, smoked sausage, smoked bacon, smoked salmon, things like that. It's the wrong type of understanding of what smoky is in perfumery. Also, Aventus is, has got a smoky texture, but not necessarily a a smoky smell and those are different things it's got more of a musky smell so whew, we've got through that let's go on to novice Creed's Aventus is a manly smelling fragrance that smells mostly like pineapple blackcurrant and other pleasant fruits in the beginning but as time progresses it also smells mossy musky and woody it will get you compliments because of the fruity yet woody tone that's okay that's I think we're all still together, I think we're all okay, uh, I think that pretty much anybody can understand that, and that's actually a probably great go-to explanation of what Aventus smells like. But let's up the ante now, again, as we get to average. Hold tight. I think that most of you who are fragrance fans, and some of you who are more advanced in this and have been following my channel and other fragrance YouTube channels for a while, you'll probably get this, you'll probably understand. For those of you who, this is like the third or fourth, or maybe the first ever fragrance video you've ever, ever seen, this might be where you start to tune out, but let's see. Creed's Aventus uses top notes of pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, and apple to create a very pleasant fruity opening with some fresh citruses that can last about half an hour. Intertwined with this, you will start to enjoy the middle notes of birch, subtle patchouli, and the note of rose that some people will smell if they really try. But the rose is more there to give a watery texture to balance out the harsher ingredients. In the base, we have an interesting dance between vanilla, oak moss, and ambergris. The vanilla gives the fragrance a refined sweetness. The oak moss gives the fragrance a lot of different texture, including smoke, musk, and a rugged, sweet, watery, earthy, mossy smell. This is important, as if the other notes were not in this composition, it would probably just smell like countryside green moss, but luckily, everything else, in particular the vanilla, rose, and the top fruity notes bring everything together to make an alluring, masculine, and easy to enjoy smell. That's a lot of information, but I think that at that point, that's probably gonna cover most, people base, most people's bases. That's a great, solid, thorough review of what Aventus smells like. I actually told Chris Fragmental, uh, I gave him a preview of this, I said that that was the average way of explaining how Aventus smells, and he was like, bloody hell, <laughs> that's only average? Yes, we can go further, in fact we can go a lot further. Let's move on now to Advanced. Hold on to your hats. 
Creed's Aventus is a contemporary style of fruity chibra, interplaying more modern universal ideas of using fruity accords that we have seen play out in the past 20 years in designer houses such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, and Chanel, whilst also embracing smoky and mossy chibra tones of the late 1970s and early 1980s. Clear inspirations of this fragrance are the works of Max Gavari, in particular Halston Z14, Carlos Bonaeum, and even, to a degree, modern fragrance designer legend Alberto Morias, in particular his compositional style of the early 90s such as Aqua de Gio from Giorgio Armani. Aventus is a mixture of aroma chemicals and essential oils. The most likely essential oils used in this fragrance are bergamot, patchouli and rose, combined with other man-made divisive aroma chemicals that give it its more complex birchy, smoky and woody smell as the scent progresses. When first sprayed, you will immediately get citrus and fruity accords with a high acidity pineapple and apple respectively, accompanied with a rich high tannin black currant, a cumbersome patchouli note and subtle but translucent rose note that diffuses the over acidity that you may experience. The choice of this composition creates an extremely well balanced masculine smell. The birch and oak moss tones are very high quality and natural, which make them a vital piece to this composition, and could be noticed also in the opening, but become more prominent as the composition dries down. Ambergris and vanilla in this are nearly subtle, but necessary to bring a fresh oceanic tone with a harboured sweetness that juggles not only the fruity acidity, but renders the smoke to a more pedestrian stance, and its innate sweetness intertwines effortlessly with the oak moss and birch that can create a sensual and alluring smell similar to sweet sweat. So that is an advanced version of explaining what Creed's Aventus smells like. This is kind of going out of the realms of necessity at this point. This is becoming sort of almost silly. Hold on to your hats because this is as insane as it gets. This is a pro take on how Aventus by Creed smells. Let's go. Oh, by the way, some of these aroma chemicals I will do my best to pronounce, but I'm not. <laughs> I can't promise anything. Let's go. Creed's Aventus is potentially a composition of 10 to 15 differing aroma chemicals. In the opening spray, you will experience a barrage of mostly fruity and sweet notes in accordance of the general rule of citrus and fruit orientated aroma chemicals being smaller and therefore lasting less than their secondary counterparts. Using anywhere between five to 10 drops of allyl amyl glycolate, which will create the freshly cut pineapple accord, and then the same amount of alpha damascone, and anywhere between 15 to 10 drops of delta damascone, creates the rest of that iconic opening that will give the impression of a mix between fruity apple, black currants, and rose. This will also be aided by a choice of perfumier's alcohol, which we will get to shortly. Ethylene brassylate highly contributes to the composition's naturally woody balsamic aroma. The popular designer chemical, ISOE Super, which gives the woody sweet tone between the heart section and dry down, and gives the olfactory illusion of a sweety woody tone mixed with a harsher birch smell. The green, mossy and solar effect is likely being created by 10 drops of cyclogalbonate. Three to five drops patchoulol, and only a couple drops of high quality birch oil, giving it a warmer mid-tone. Interestingly, using such notes as cyclogalbonate could also contribute to the varying batch code effect that we see as a main component in Aventus, as cyclogalbonate doesn't have an isomer. Isomers are molecules and polyatomic ions with identical molecular formula. That is, same number of atoms of each element. Cyclogalbonate does not have the chemical makeup for this, and therefore can be interchangeable from batch to batch with more mixed results. The aroma chemical that holds this all together is probably a solid helping of ethyl vanillin, or as it's sometimes called, bourbonol. Aventus probably uses industry standard phenethyl alcohol, as this would help producing notes of rose, ylang ylang, and other subtle floral chords that would react well in particular with ISOE Super and Alpha Damascone. I think it's a surprising result that ethyl vanillin, at seemingly such a high percentage, reacts so well with phenethyl alcohol, as on paper, they would potentially not mix. But many would argue that there is a small amount of isobetol quinoline 2, which probably offsets the balance between florals and sweetness, essentially giving this enough grit and wood to be able to sail the winds of sweeter chemicals, whilst utilising high quality citrus essential oils such as bergamot and essential oil of rose, just for good measure, which although was inspired by some of these sheepers, was actually quite groundbreaking at the time. The note of ambergris is most likely very real, especially on my nose. To my nose, there's not the um, 
a rum chemical counterpart, which is ambroxin, which has been used uh, very, very much in the last five years of fragrance. But no, to me, that sweet, salty accord is real. I think that there's actual genuine ambergris in Aventus, still, after all these batches and reformulations. It is interesting to note that if you rejig the fragrance's chemical makeup and change the formula ever so slightly, you get a completely different but recognisable fragrance. For example, with Aventus, if you take away the ambergris, birchwood, alpha damascone, up the ISOE super to dominate the composition, then add lemon in and methyl pamplemousse, and also any of the primary earthy vetiver style aroma chemicals, you get Soda Hermes. How bizarre is that? And if you replace the allyl amyl glycolate with 6 3 hexanol, you literally get Calvin Klein eternity for men. That's crazy. Okay, now breathe. <laughs> so, of course, we don't have to go that insane with this kind of thing. And that last pro one is absolutely unnecessary. Probably maybe one, two or three of you sort of understood what I was saying because that that took a tremendous amount of time um, and probably most of you didn't even know what I was talking about. If some of you want a, maybe a little series of this or, or want to see me talk about uh, some of your favorite fragrances in five different levels then please comment below and tell me. But uh, yeah, that was quite a fun thing and now you definitely know what Aventus smells like. Anyway, I'm the Fragrance Race. If you enjoyed this, there'll be more fun educational content like this coming very, very soon. Just like, subscribe. I'm pretty much returning full time to this uh, as the Fragrance Apprentice. I've really, really missed doing it and I've really missed it. Anyway, I'm the Fragrance Race. Thank you. Bye.